GM. And this one is beautiful. I think this is a beautiful puzzle. White to play and to force checkmate. Now I know it's a bizarre position, but this is simply uh, astonishing. Uh, simply astonishing. Uh, that is the load of knights one. Yeah, this is the load of knight one. So I'm just going to flick this in there. But again, let's see if anyone can solve this. You know, I know Aldo's seen this one already. I'll try to find you one in a minute, Aldo, that you you haven't seen because these ones these ones with real uh, what's the right word? Prodigies of the game, Aldo. They might have seen it. Um, but white to play and win. Now, have a think about it. You've got to be quite forcing here because black is threatening queen g5 check and then queen to g7 checkmate. The white king is in this situation actually in a very precarious situation uh, because there's many ways the white king can get checkmated. So you can't mess about. You've got to try to play forcing chess. We're also material down. Black, black has two rooks. We've only got two knights. So we've got to play very forcing chess here uh, and this. Okay, let's see if anyone's got the whole solution. Well, you haven't quite solved it even yet. It, it, it goes to, uh, you've got the right idea, right ideas incoming. Keep having a go. I'm trying, I might miss the correct answer because it's obviously quite hard for me to follow all of your variations in my head uh, and try to get this right. So a lot of you are getting the right idea. I love this puzzle, it's beautiful. No one's quite got it yet as far as I can see. No one has got the right answer yet. As far as I can see, I might be missing the right answer but I can't see it. Uh, now, blah, van, cola. Uh, no, not quite. No one's got it all the way to the answer, to the end yet. Uh, how, how do you say that? Bar, Bar Van Kohler is, is doing a very good job. Let me just make sure. I think Bar Van Kohler might have this one. I'm just working this out in the head. Yes. Well done. Well done. Bar Van Kohler has got this one. Has got this one. Uh, so congratulations, Bar Van Kohler. Uh, and if you if you ever got to this position in a game, which is quite unlikely, but it, it, you know this position particularly, it, it, it does sum up a lot of um, instances you might get in a very sharp game. So if you're attacking, your opponent's attacking. It's this double-edged kind of thing where you can't you can't um, uh, basically uh, um, you can't delay. So you have to do something forcing. And in this position, the only forcing option is a check. Because literally, if you try to play something slow like knight here, which is threatening queen to f5 checkmate, well, it's black's go. And black has a number of these moves with the queen. And, and your king is too weak here on, on, on h6. So for example, I can go check, king here, checkmate. And as soon as you start realizing that, God, this is, this is urgent, you need to play a check. There's only one check on the board. And the only check on the board is queen f5. And after king takes f5, you've then got to unbelievably use your knights to checkmate. Now, I think um, there's a number of things you can try um, in, in that position. I think Yebjorn suggested uh, some checks like this, but actually just queen takes uh, g4. So I think either uh, both uh, Yebjorn and... Um, uh, and Mary suggested check, king takes, I'll put the pieces on the board in a minute, knight check, king f6, knight g4 check. But I would go queen takes knight there because I've got loads of materials, pawn takes. And then I just need to give my king an escape square. So I just move the knight on e6. So we can show that line. We're using the process of elimination. So this one, and we go here, this one, we go here, this one, and... Well, maybe it's a draw if I go back, but I'm going to try to win with black. I take that one off. I don't mind giving up my queen. I've got loads of material. And now I just need to give my king an escape square. I play a move like this. My king comes to e6. It's okay. So if you're trying to solve this in a game situation, you know that you have to play something like this to get your knights in the position. And what you should do is eliminate at least knight e3 and knight g4. 
Now, if you go queen f5, king takes knight e3 check, king f6, you have a look in that position, you think, is there anything I can do? And I don't think there is. Knight takes here, rook takes, it's winning. There's nothing else. So you've got to look after king takes f5 at other options. And then it should become clear that knight e7 check is the right move. And in that position, if rook takes, we have this amazing plan where this knight can take everything. It goes check, king f6, check, king f5, check, king f6, check, king f5. And then we go, let me get this right. Check, king f6, check, king f5, g4, checkmate. Now, if anyone, like, like guys, try to work this out. I want you to try and visualize this before I move the pieces. I'm going to let everyone, I'm going to show you the answer again but i want you to try and visualize it it's like 10 moves deep nine moves deep but this is brilliant for the way you can try to think ahead it's one of the biggest skills in chess so i'm going to show you the answer it's check king takes queen then we go knight check here rook takes knight and then our knight is going to come here check king f6 Remember, this rook is on this square. Here, check. King f5. Here, taking the rook, check. King f6. Taking the queen, check. King f5. This is really hard, I know. We come back, check, because we need to get our knight to cover f4. King f6. Check here. King f5. And now that the knight covers f4, g4, checkmate. Okay, let's show. So we go queen f5 check, only move, and it's winning. We take here. Now we know that this move's not working, and g4, the king can come forward, so we have to play this beautiful move. Now we've only looked at rook takes knight. We're going to show this first. If the rook takes this, suddenly it's look at this knight. This knight wins everything, and this is stunningly beautiful. Knight comes here, check. And this is the line I was just showing. The king comes back. The knight takes here, check. The black king has to come back. We take there, check. This is the line I hope some of you are able to solve in your mind. The king comes back. We might as well take the queen, check. The king comes back. Now we need to cover the f4 square. Because otherwise the king will come here. So we come back, check. And also now we've got rid of the queen, so the queen can't give itself up on this square. The king comes back. Knight d5 check. The king comes back and now eventually this one is checkmate. <laughs> Easy, right? Easy. Mm. What a beautiful variation, right? What a beautiful variation. Another very nice line. So let's just have a look at that again. So we have to go here, check. Now, if the king goes here straight away, then how do we checkmate? Okay, we just take the queen check. And after this one, what's what's the move we play here? White's playing checkmate in this position. Yes, we just bring the knight checkmate. The king is now trapped. So after king takes knight e7 check, you have to take here. And now this knight it just takes on the whole army and I love the way that the white knight takes everything and then comes back and then gives checkmate so I love this variation and by the way if we try to play g4 here it doesn't work because black can take here black's winning that's why we have to get rid of the queen first and come back in order to do it the correct way Simple Bjorn, simple. <laughs> it's quite a nice checkmate though, surely. Okay, now um, I, I, I think the person who made that one is Bel Believsky, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've got down here um, that Believsky, who was, uh, well, he still is a very strong uh, grandmaster from the Soviet Union, but I'm not entirely sure uh, who made that one, but made that one. Okay, now I think we're going to try to find, go for one more puzzle um, to, to call it a day. I'm going to try to find a puzzle that Aldo has not seen. Um, I've got plenty of puzzles here. 
I, it's funny. I know that these puzzle streams they don't get as many views as blitz and stuff but i think that i think what i'm trying to say is here this is just an indication what you should work on at home you should be working on puzzles like this and not moving the pieces to try and uh, to try and you know to try and improve your visualization your calculation it's better than doing opening play even this much better than doing opening work well you've got to do a combination but this is so important would i play blitz afterwards i'm not sure yet i'm actually quite tired doing all this it's quite tiring talking and trying to work things out as well so i might do a little bit of blitz um okay well i'm glad i'm glad you prefer puzzles to blitz mary uh, I, I mean I've, i think they're more useful so it doesn't it, i'm not really bothered about how many people watch uh trying to trying to help you guys uh, get better okay mm -hmm.